everybody, Miss Ashley here, and I have a new story for you. And today's story is called I'm a Baked Potato by Elise Primavera, which happens to be actually a very nice pasta, so hmm, just saying. So let's see what happens in I'm a Baked Potato. There was a lady who loved baked potatoes. She ate one every day. She had a potato garden in her backyard because she hated to run out. Do you like potatoes? Do you like potatoes? The lady also loved dogs. Ha! <laughs> and so one day she went and she got one. She chose him because he seemed to fit so nicely in her arms. Well, you seem to sip it so not that nicely on my lap. Do you like potatoes? <coughs> you remind me of something, she said to the dog. What could it be? The dog was smooth. The dog was warm. She could have eaten him right up. That's exactly it, she exclaimed. You're just like a baked potato. Are you like a baked potato? What do you think? Oh. And that was what she told him first thing every morning. You're my little baked potato. Throughout the day she called for him, here baked potato, or commanded roll over baked potato, and so on. The lady was an excellent pet owner. She and the dog ate all their meals together by the fire. Oh, we should up our game up, eh? Y'all. She let him sleep under the covers. She loved the dog even more than she loved baked potatoes. Then one day, the lady went out. The dog went out too. Where's the lady, he wondered, and he walked down the driveway, and he looked for her everywhere. He walked farther and farther. Where was the lady? He came to a small house. A big dog ran to him and barked nastily. Who are you, he snarled. I'm a baked potato, the dog replied. You look more like a groundhog to me. Go away before I bite you. The dog had never heard such yelling. Do you know where the lady is, he asked. But the big dog just shouted, scram. The dog wandered farther down the street and he looked all around. Was she around the corner? Was she over the next hill? Where's the lady? The sky became dark and the air became cold and the dog became worried. And it began to rain. The dog thought of how it felt to be held in the lady's arms. He thought of how right now they'd be sharing a meal together by the fire. He thought of the bed where she let him sleep under the covers. The lady, he called. Where are you? A fox heard his plaintive cry. Who are you? I'm a groundhog. The dog had never been so upset. You look more like a nice plump bunny rabbit to me. The fox licked his lips and I just love some bunny rabbit. Mm. What a relief, said the dog. Come with me, said the fox, and he led the dog to his creepy little house in the tree. The fox turned on his oven. You would be good with some carrots and some onions, he muttered. Who are carrots and onions, a dog asked. Do they know where the lady is? The fox had a very...
very devilish grin. We'll ask them, shall we? And just then, a voice said, What do you think you're doing? Right at the fox's door stood an old owl. The owl shook his head at the fox, who he knew to be a coward. Who are you? The owl asked the dog. I guess I'm a bunny rabbit, the dog said, his lips trembling. The owl gave the fox a very dirty look. Come with me. And then he took the dog by the paw and brought him to his cheerful house. He looked into the dog's eyes. You are not a bunny rabbit. So I'm a groundhog. The dog had never been so confused. The owl shook his head and he goes, no, no, I don't think so. I knew it, the dog said. I'm a baked potato. He goes, no, you're a dog. Bing! The timer on the owl's oven sounded. This is a baked potato. The dog sniffed it, and it smelled just like the lady. The dog was taken aback. You seem to know a lot, he said. Do you know where the lady is? I don't know that, said the owl, but I do know that dogs are very good at finding things, especially with their noses. Like the lady, the dog asked hopefully. Like the lady, the owl said. So outside, the dog took the owl's advice and he sniffed and he smelled the lady. The smell just wafted on the breeze. He followed it away from the cheerful house, past the creepy house, and past the small house, and then around the corner and down the street. Soon, he could hear her calling, Baked Potato! Baked Potato! Sure enough, standing in the porch light was the lady. He jumped into her arms and she showered him with kisses. My little big potato, she cooed, squeezing him tight. I should have known you'd like walks in the rain. You're just like me. It was good to be back, but the dog would never be the same. He knew he was not a baked potato, or a groundhog, or a bunny rabbit. He knew exactly what he was. I'm just like me. And that is the end of I'm a Baked Potato. I hope you enjoyed this. I think it was super fun when the lady kept shouting out, BAKED POTATO! So, uh, what did you name your dogs? I mean, I have three, and my dog's names are Whiskey and Lucky and Sheba. So, is your dog named Baked Potato? Maybe Spinach Casserole? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope that you like and subscribe to the Miss Ashley YouTube Storytime channel for more great stories and dogs and other videos. So until next time, take care and bye-bye.